What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andre and today I'm going to be doing an update on PLTR ticker. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will show you some fundamental news that will drive the price of this ticker. And I will show you how you can buy the stock of this company cheaper than ARK Investment. And at the end of this video, I will show you my forecast for the price of this company. And before we get into all of that, if you guys would like to take a part in the limited time offer from Webull and earn two free stocks valued up to $2300, just open new account, deposit only $5 and choose your free stocks. Link in my description. So, let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video somewhere at this point and I've told you that uh, we might hover for quite some time at the levels between uh, 0.5 and 0.618 and basically as you can see we hit uh, the level our accumulation point uh, in between the uh, $20.67 and $20.32. It is a golden pocket. It is a range between the 0.65 and 0.618 Fibonacci retracement levels from this bottom to this top for this entire structure. And on top of that, we nailed to the tick the very bottom of uh, this price section and uh, it is a 0.786 uh, Fibonacci level. And uh, this Fibonacci level uh, made from uh, this bottom to this entire top. We nailed it to the tick and uh, the average price in between these two green bars and this means the average price is roughly uh, $19.5. So, and uh, let's continue with the fundamentals of this company. First of all, let's start with the company profile. Palantir Technologies builds and deploys software platforms uh, for the intelligence community in the United States to assist in counterterrorism investigations and operations. So, and let's continue with their financials. Uh, they have a total market cap for now at uh, $40.82 billion. Their revenue is $1.2 billion with a negative net income of $1.24 billion. They have very, very good revenue growth of 48.61% uh, and uh, their uh, total cash position is very strong. They have $2.34 billion. Their total debt is uh, uh, $452.72 million and uh, their current ratio is highly above required level of 1.5 and for now it is 3.88. So, right here you can see the negative net income and uh, this is because they reinvest uh, the entire profits into their company, into their employees and uh, that's why they are aiming to be as big as possible and uh, they are aiming to dominate this market. So, and let's continue with this article. We are on uh, Seeking Alpha and uh, this article was published on July 30th and it's titled Palantir, a generational opportunity. And uh, let me quote you this summary. Palantir's uh, foundry redefines how businesses use data and this will unlock Palantir's potential market amongst commercial businesses as Palantir looks to expand from government contracts. Palantir estimates uh, its total addressable market for the commercial sector to be roughly $56 billion. Our forecasts estimate that Foundry alone will be worth over $85 billion by 2031. So, this article is extremely bullish and I will put all the links in the description below. And I have to say that for now, their main growth opportunity is to expand their Foundry, their product uh, uh, to more broader audience and uh, on my previous video I've told you that they started to use this foundry with uh, some startups and it is a very clever step because eventually they will find uh, some uh, companies that uh, becomes a unicorn and uh, with this growth they will drastically improve uh, their financials only from foundry product and it is very very good that they are moving away from government uh, contracts not moving away but they diversify their governmental contracts with uh, average business contracts and it is very good so uh, let me show you the latest uh, news we are on uh, businesswire.com and uh, this is official press release that uh, was published on july 29th and it uh, says palantir announces date of second quarter 2021 earnings release and conference call and let me quote you this. Palantir Technologies uh, announced uh, today that results for its second quarter ended June 30th, 2021 will be released on Thursday, August 12, 2021, prior to the open of uh, US markets. 
and Palantir also will host a conference call, as usual. So, they will uh, publish their data on August the 12th, and we have uh, only 10 days until this date. And in my opinion, from the technical standpoint, we are on a very, very good point uh, where you can add your position, but I will show you in a minute why it is so important to make uh, some steps right now. And let me show you their institutional investors. We are on fintel.io and according to this data, uh, they have uh, 779 total institutional owners, 730 of them have a long position only, 14 of them have a short position only, and uh, 35 of them have a mixed position. And let me show you the latest sentiment of this market, of the smart money market. And as you can see, green rows indicate uh, new positions, uh, red rows indicate closed positions. And uh, as you can see, we have more green lines, more green rows than the red ones. This means the total sentiment during last several days is extremely, extremely bullish. And I have to say that we have uh, a delay on 13F filings, and this delay might be up to 45 days right after the period closed. And uh, these uh, filings might be made at the period from April till June, and uh, the average price right here is a little bit higher than the current price. And it is extremely important point, and it is extremely important information for now. And let me show you one more thing, that uh, a lot of uh, these uh, new filings uh, has a huge amount of value. For example, uh, this company added uh, their position to about uh, $30 million. Uh, Vanguard added their position uh, to $54.79 million. Another company, $15.2 million. And a lot of these companies heavily invested in uh, Palantir. And let me show you this. We are on uh, kathysark.com and this website uh, tracks all the buys and sells of uh, ARK funds. And we are on PLTR ticker, as you can see. And uh, for now we have uh, recent buys uh, made on uh, May 19th, 2021. And right here we have uh, the chart, the graph uh, that is represented uh, the uh, buys and the price of uh, this stock. And this purple line shows the average price. And for now average price for ARK fund I have to say that ARK funds are the most profitable funds, in my opinion, that uh, are at the market right now. And even their average price is at the level of, as you can see right here, $22.39. This means our current price at the level of $21.71 is lower than the average price of ARK funds. And uh, it is very good opportunity to enter your position and ladder your buys down. Uh, because we might have some fluctuations uh, during the next uh, 10 days. And uh, basically, it is very, very good point to enter your position with this company. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. Let me show you that uh, we have uh, this uh, price action during last several days and uh, we are hovering right around uh, the level of uh, $21.98. It is a 0.5 Fibonacci root investment from the bottom of a recent uh, wave to the top of this wave. And we still have the possibility to hit uh, our uh, accumulation main accumulation point right now on the microscopic uh, scale and we have about uh, 10 to 15 percent probability to hit uh, the level of 18.81 and uh, in my opinion we might have uh, some uh, price action for the next uh, 10 days because uh, on uh, august the 12th we will have uh, an earnings report and in my opinion the earnings uh, will be as usual very very good and as you can see their previous earnings report right here on may the 11th uh, they have a very very good uh, price section to the upside and in my opinion we might have a next leg uh, with this earnings report. So that's why you can accumulate your position with this company if uh, you already done your own due diligence. And let me show you the targets. To project these targets I pulled the Fibonacci extension tool from the very bottom of entire structure to the very top and the third point at the bottom of the retracement right here. And with the assumption that we have to land the top of our third wave, we have our main target at level of $74.74 at 1.618 extension. And we also have some secondary targets and uh, uh, one of them is at the level of 0.786 and it is a confluence level with our 
previous all-time high. And uh, in my opinion, for now we have to break this level and even this level represents the potential profits of uh, about 100% as you can see right here. So I think uh, it is crystal clear for now what should we expect from this company. And uh, with that being said, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. See you guys and girls next time. Bye.